hi guys welcome back to my channel i am stopping in today for a quick project share um i joined uh alice who is my frugal wonderlands um let's be friends swap um and it was either make one receive one or make two receive two um i actually made two but one of these will serve as the hostess gift um, they are pretty much identical. Um, of course, you know, some color and paper changes, but the design of both are pretty much the same. Um, and I got a lot of this done at the crops that I've been going to, um, and then just put some finishing touches on at home. So we had to follow uh, Alice's tutorial for the tote bag. Um, as far as the base of the tote bag, um, but she gave us free reign on whether or not we wanted to put handles so we could do anything that we wanted for handles. Um, I decided to use the Scrap Diva Designs um, handbag uh, strips. I can't remember what the official name of it is. Let's see. And I didn't do a haul video on this. It's the Purse Straps Bundle um, is what I used for my handles. So, I'm going to just set one aside, and I will show you guys what I created. Um, and I'll go through, like, what the requirements were as I take things out, because it's been a minute and I don't remember. <laughs> so, I stuck one of my swap cards in there so they will know who created this swap entry. Um, we had to create a shaker. Um, oh, my thread is all jumbled up back there. Um, I did this mason jar uh, shaker and just used some bits of ephemera um, from the collection, which is the Honey and Bee collection from Fancy Pants Designs. Um, and I didn't want to over embellish it, you know, leave some things for the recipient to um, further embellish it if they wanted to. Um, some of these wooden, uh, pink wooden bees I put up there at the top. A uh, rose capuchon. Um, and creating the shaker, you got like the inner piece um, from both my foam and my um, cardstock. So I just made <laughs> another little embellishment and I'm just including it in there. I just tied some uh, twine around the top, tied a bow, and then put the tiniest little flower cabochon on there. So they got a two for one on that one. Um, we had crafter's choice uh, with a set of embellishments and I decided to do tags. And I used the uh, Scrap Diva Designs uh, Shabby Chic tags for mine. So I did a set of three. Used a rosette dye, some, uh, some of that gold sequin trim, some enamel dots. Sorry about the glare. And again, I made some flowers. I'm pretty sure this is a Scrap Diva Designs flower dye. Um, my Tim Holtz um, rosette dye and some flat back gems and pieces of ephemera from the collection. And here I used a gold doily um, and just layered up some pieces of the ephemera on that one. So that is my crafter's choice. We also had to do a memory decks card and I just realized that I did not put my info on the back of my memory decks card. So I need to print that real quick and add it on there. Um, I can't remember if this is a KS Craft or a ZF Party memory decks die, but one of them. Um, again, some more of those flowers that I created, um, some flat back glitter gems, and another piece of the ephemera, and it is popped up on foam. So it does have some layers, so let me set that up there so I don't forget. We had to create a wand or a flag um i should retitle this the scrap diva <laughs> um 
swap because everything I pull out is using the Scrap Diva die. Um, so I use the wavy tag banner or the wavy banner die, I think is what it's called. Um, and these little garden picks that I found in the Target um, dollar spot. Flared up some pieces of ephemera, this little teeny tiny rosette that I'm sure I purchased from Lori who is creating for fun, um, and then a little uh, bee gem that came in a pack from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I just backed it with a piece of cardstock cut out using that same um, die. So that's my flag. We had to create a set of bows. Again, uh, not everybody has this collection. I did stick with the colors of the collection, but I, you know, didn't over embellish them or use too many of the pattern papers for things um, because the person can, you know, turn around and use this with whatever collection they want. Um, so I did two with the little uh, B cabochons as the centers and then two with the gold uh, sequin trim wrapped around it. Get back in there. Um, we'll do the pen. We had to do a beaded item, either a beaded pen, pokey tool, beaded keychain, something beaded. Um, so I have a lot of beatable pens in my stash, so I chose to do that. I used this silicone uh, B focal bead. I got them in a set um, with the mint, the pink, the yellow, the white, and I think there was a gray in there as well. So I used um, some silicone beads and some wood beads and this little rhinestone spacer bead. So that is my something beaded. Um, and then this last thing, we had to create a handmade card. This is the thing that took me the longest and when I pull it out, you'll see why. Um, I chose to do a slimline card. I wanted to do something different than a regular 4x4 or a 2 size card. Um, I pulled out some of my um, Tim Holtz Sizzix uh, colorized dies. I've had the dies for years and was just too intimidated to try them. They're very pretty when I look at the makes on um, Tim's lives and other people's stuff but it's a lot of little pieces but i just you know decide to go ahead and bite the bullet and this is my card so it's all cardstock um and i cut these flowers out in like all the colors like four different colors plus the gold um there's a little bee that i popped up there and I used a piece of the ephemera from the collection as the sentiment on my card. Yeah, I did this the Friday night of the um, expo, the scrapbook expo, I think. I, did, I think I did it on Friday night of the expo. Um, and then this is the inside. I used the um, scallop layering piece. Um, on the inside as well and then that same B um, I just layered in there because we can't have any naked inside so I think this card is the part of this <laughs> make that I am most happy with um, and then we had to include a five dollar goodie of course y'all know I'm gonna go above the five dollars um, I actually picked these socks up last year hoping that I could find a pink B collection and I did. So I had these socks ready to go. And then I'm including a bunch of jimmies and stickers from Hobby Lobby. Um, these iridescent um, flatback gems, these pink rhinestone gems, and then this set of dimensional B stickers with the little vellum wings. So. That is my $5 goodie. That is what I am sending to Alice for her Let's Be Friends swap, I think. That was everything. I don't think I missed anything. Which I hope I didn't. Um, so I just need to um, add my stuff to the back of my... I can't believe I forgot to do that. Um, add this to the back of my memory deck card. Um, and then I will be ready to ship these off.
Um, if you have any questions about anything that I use, the dies or the paper collection, uh, please leave me a comment. I will link um, where I can. Um, and I will link Alice's Instagram and YouTube information in the description box below. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'll, I'll chat with y'all later. Bye.